Yep. What you doing? <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm not doing. <laughs> Playing Gears Playing of War. Gears of War. <laughs> Gear, or Gears 5. Gears yeah. 5. It's a decent game. It's decent. No, it isn't. It isn't. It's, the same, it's exactly the same as the last game. Or as Microsoft calls it, the biggest Gears ever. Because they well, added I mean, a you could probably games. say that about 90%. I mean, look at like Madden every year. FIFA no, that's every year. for sure. I, right. But the problem, so in other words, like Gears of War, when it first came out, was mm. kind of interesting because it was very different. Right. And it had some serious problems. Um, the most obvious one being kind of the movement, uh, mm. and the Lord of the Ground stuff. Like if you ever played like multiplayer very early on, especially, mm -hmm. you, you couldn't have gotten six inches off the ground ever. Like there were no mm -hmm. variances of terrain or anything. Like There was no guy up there shooting yeah. down at you. I mean, they changed that over time, but... Uh, it was real low to the ground stuff, mm -hmm. and you know it was unique for a second, and then it was like eh, geez, this is really limiting, you know. Mm -hmm. it so is. over the over the it years, is. they've improved it. I mean, and it's gotten more colorful. That was a big uh, mm -hmm. criticism of Gears back in the day. Uh, it was very gray or brown. I guess it was brown, not gray. Mm -hmm. Gray was whatever that stupid Sony game was called. But anyway, um, you know, the, with Gears of War four, the one that came out a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, it was the first one Microsoft did. It was just like it was just like a, a retro, like here we go again, like exactly yeah. the same over and over again. You know, a little more colorful in the, in the campaign. Terrible dialogue, terrible, like it, you know, just it's a real game. It's it's not it's. And by the way, the recent Call of Duty uh, single player games when they had them were like this too. It's just you get in there, you're an A, and you're going to B, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it can happen. However, you know, in a couple of different ways, but you're getting a B. Like, yep. and it's just. It's an interactive story. Yeah, that's I mean that's it yeah. and it's you know it's it's well produced and well made and all that kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. it's just the same. It's just the same. I get tired of the same. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it's um, I agree with you on the story part. I, first off, I I have been playing the campaign, which I haven't played a campaign game in a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, I've actually the, finished every single Gears game. In fact, the first one I have mm -hmm. played through at least six or seven times, easily, yeah. probably more. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's whatever. Um, I yeah, probably similar <laughs> yes. to you or and many people listening to this. I just I played I've played through a couple of levels. I'll finish it eventually, mm -hmm. but I I gravitate towards the multiplayer. That's what I enjoy. Uh, going, I mean, chainsawing somebody in half doesn't really get old too often, at least not yet. But mm -hmm. it is. The, the the big question is, is it going to pull me away from Apex Legends? And uh... Yeah, that is, yeah. Well, I can tell you what I discovered uh, mm -hmm. playing it was, you know, play through a few levels. I'm like, come on, you can stick with this. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I finished every other game. You got to finish this. And I'm like, you know, Call of Duty is right there on the same hard drive. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, and that's the thing. And that's not, and this is a good example of me mm -hmm. uh, not thinking other people should be like me. I know I'm stuck on this thing. And, yep. and Call of Duty is absolutely the same thing over and over again. Um, actually, I will say as a Call of Duty fan, the most irritating thing about Call of Duty these days is not the stuff that's exactly the same. It's mm -hmm. how they clearly have been influenced by other things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, oh, God, it's, it is... Um, you get into like a, a lobby mm -hmm. and you can see several of the characters standing there and, and they're loaded out the way that, that whoever owns them has loaded them out. And now you've got like a zombie girls and like, mm -hmm. like this guy, like the just different characters have nothing to do with warfare at all. They're doing little break dances and they mm -hmm. do little magic tricks and stuff. And it's like, uh, this used to be a military shooter. Mm -hmm. what, what, what is, what is this nonsense? Yeah. You know? It's no, just, it's, it's, it's tough. The thing, and so I will, I like, I will continue to play the multiplayer, but mm -hmm. it, it is very limiting compared to like a traditional because there's no jumping in the game. Um, there's right. a lot of sight lines that aren't there. So it's just a different way to play. And I can't determine if I like that because it's different than Apex or right. I just miss the, the, the standard multiplayer where you can run, gun, die, run, gun, die. Yeah. Because in Apex, so, it's not like that. You run, you die, and then the game's over. I know I don't like it. I, I, yeah, so I, I just I'll just say a sort of an evolution of the first person shooter. Mm -hmm. Just a, a, as you were saying that, uh, it, you very much reminded me of the very early days. So in, in a game like Doom, the original Doom or Castle Wolfenstein mm -hmm. or whatever, um, which wasn't really a multiplayer experience, but like the Doom, whatever, it's it's you're on a flat plane, you're going straight, you you can't look anyway. If you want to go this way, your whole body has to move. Yep. It was there was no 
free look kind of an idea, mm-hmm. right? And of course, once they added mouse support, the notion of free look entered into the equation. And that that's kind of amazing because you can be looking up there as you're running straight forward mm-hmm. or in whatever direction. You can do these two different things at one time. And with a controller, of course, they've got the two um, thumbsticks that allow mm-hmm. that same type of yep. behavior. Um, once you go down that route, it's not possible to play Doom the old-fashioned way. And so mm-hmm. if you were to play Doom today, they've enabled mouse look and all that kind of stuff. And it changes yeah. it a little bit, of, but of course, it's not a true three, well, it is, it's not a true 3D game, but, um, you know, games like um, Duke Nukem 3D, also not technically a true 3D game, did add that dimension mm-hmm. of being able to go up and down, and, and it was very innovative in the day. And so I, th- I think the problem I have with Gears of War, and I've always had with Gears of War, multiplayer is it eliminates a bunch of the movements and freedoms and the ability to move in in truly in three uh, dimensions that which had been common to games for like decades by that point mm-hmm. and it just seemed like such a a weird limitation you know and they've made it's gotten a little bit better um but you know, you could be in a, well, you know, in, in the game you're playing and in a, a modern, you know, like Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, um, it, it's truly 3D and it's truly like these huge environments. And um, you could be up on a tower, you could be down in a well, you could be swimming under the water, you know, whatever. I mean, it's, I, I just look at it, it's it's not, calling it a throwback is not even fair. When it came out, it was a, thro- it was a throwback. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, the first version was a throwback. I mean. So it's, you know, the first game was all about single player, frankly. Um, I appreciate the fact that they're continuing a campaign, even if it's, um, I mean, how many times you get to save the world? It's like, geez, you know, we've, we've defeated the enemy. Oh, no, we haven't. You know, it's like a Friday the 13th movie. Like, mm-hmm. I feel bad for these people. <laughs> you know, it's like enough already. Anyway, it's okay. All right, we'll end there. Um, well, you know, no, you know what it is? It's like a Hollywood yeah. blockbuster. It's yeah, it is. a lot of money. It, the, the presentation is fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's kind of the, the, the benefit just gets reduced each time. It's like, yeah, I appreciate the, the quality of the work. That's yeah, good looking, you know, whatever. But, oh my God, it's like, have we done this yeah. before? Like, it's just the same thing. Um, speaking of things that are marginally similar, there's a new build of Windows 10 out. <laughs> right now, build oh. one eight nine seven five. The only thing that's really different here is that you can now move the Cortana screen around. It's like Are a, you saying? That, did this just happen? Yeah. Oh, so is this a twenty H one build? Yes. Okay. So if you and this is the standalone using, app version of Cortana. Yeah, it's it sort right? of looks the like new, that. Yeah. Because it it's definitely a free floating window now. At this point, it's not like permanently fixed to the um. That's it's nice. It's just like um, drifting off into space. It's going to get further and further from Windows until eventually it's just gone. It's just gone. You know, bigger Windows build news than this. Yesterday, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. late yesterday, they released a build of 19H2 that everyone can get. It has the new features, of which there is exactly one <laughs> that anyone would notice. <laughs> but... Uh, which is like the calendar fly out in the taskbar now lets you enter a, an event right from there. Exciting, exciting stuff. But that's fine. It's all good. Um, that's kind of what I wanted. But it begs the question, once you see what's new in there, it's like, so you couldn't get this earlier, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, hmm. things you couldn't get earlier, but you can now, is Microsoft's bringing back Power Toys, which is interesting. Um, I yeah. mean, it's introducing some good functionality i'm happy that they're doing this it raises a couple just interesting questions one their naming convention of the features is not great I know, I know. um don't they call it like fancy desktops or something like that I, seriously I, and, and by the way just literally reading that and thinking that is a dumb name i came up with the right name like immediately power mm. snap yeah they call it fancy zones that's what it is fancy zones. fancy zones no, I mean, this pa- is a legitimate power toy. Yeah, this is like, I'm, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'm not complaining about the functionality. I, I haven't installed it, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, I'm actually looking forward to this. It also raises the question of why isn't this just built into Windows? Power toys well, made, I, a lot of, made a lot of sense when Windows yeah. would ship every, what, three to five years. Now that mm. it's shipping every six months. That was the, 
That was actually one of the complaints about the original power toys. Why isn't this just built into Windows? And sure. by the way, just off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure at one point they were very briefly were built into Windows. Mm. In fact, there was a power toys tab on display settings, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, the display property sheet um, that lasted very briefly. But yeah, I mean, that's of course. You see mm -hmm. something like this, you're like, actually, this is... But who knows? Maybe this is how these things could work. Um, maybe this thing could be built in. Yeah. So, anyways, it, it's definitely worth going to grab. It's free, so you can try it. And if you don't like it, then you just, whatever, you just move on with life. Now, the other power toy is barely a toy, let alone powerful. Mm. In fact, it's sort of like a um, I'm learning to program 101 <laughs> kind of thing where you can hit a key combination and see all of the... It's just an overlay on the screen that shows you all of the Windows key combinations you can do because most people probably don't know any of them. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, just fun fact, I'm not sure I knew this at the time, but uh, in Windows 10, I use a couple of different Windows key shortcuts very frequently. The one I use the most mm -hmm. is, well, actually, there's probably two I use the most, is Windows key plus I brings up a settings pane, the settings uh, app, mm -hmm. and Windows key plus E brings up File Explorer. And I use those both mm -hmm. uh, many times every day mm -hmm. um, because I'm writing that series about oh, older versions yeah, yeah, of Windows. Yeah. Windows key plus E worked in Windows 95. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm, not sure I, I'm not sure I knew that. Yeah. It goes mm -hmm. all the way back. It's an OG shortcut. Yeah. Like, I, I, don't think, I don't think I ever used it before maybe Windows 8, but certainly Windows 10. I, I don't yeah. remember. <laughs> the yeah. one I use a lot is, uh, what is it? it's control shift V paste without formatting. Yeah, that comes up a lot for me. Other than yeah. the obvious Control C, Control V. So actually, in Windows 10, if you enable it, Windows key plus V replaces Control plus V, mm. and it uses the cloud clipboard. But yeah, and I think if you let's see if I just do this, yeah, I can't show his. Uh, yeah, so I haven't turned it on in this computer because I just brought it up. But the first time you do it, it get, you get a little clipboard window. You can try it on your computer there, Brad. Mm -hmm. And it says you have to enable it, and then when you do. You get your little, uh, yeah, your clipboard history. So then you can choose the thing to paste. So in mm -hmm. other words, Control plus V is always the last thing. And then uh, Windows key plus V will give you a list. And then you can choose between the different things in the clipboard. I never use that, but yeah, uh, yeah I just, uh, yeah. nobody exists. So there you go. There you go. I was, got a bunch of packages yesterday. One included mm -hmm. the new Logitech uh, MX Master 3 mouse, yeah. which if you like that series, it's easily the best one yet. Um, I'll do I'll do a review of it next. I don't week, think I I've think. ever used one, but what's the what's the deal with the? I I do remember reading in the description of something weird about the scroll wheel or it's whatever. Magnetic, it's like floating or levitating. It's just smooth. It's just it's just a it's just a nice mouse. I guess is the best way to, yeah. to describe yeah. it. it. Charges over USB Type C. Mm -hmm. um, it it just it's a good mouse. I'll I'll do a write up next week. I think that'll be enough time to review a mouse. So. Yeah. Then the other thing too is I got that M.2 drive and I made, oh, yeah. it showed up, it said delivery by 8 p.m. And I think it showed up at 7.58 p.m. last night. Oh, that's that's super late for what, UPS probably? Uh, no, I think this was Amazon delivery. Oh, okay. Because that could and have been Bob in his van. Legitimately next day. Like I ordered it obviously and then the previous yeah. day. Anyways. And so I was all ready at like 8.30 last night to rip apart this machine and mm -hmm. install. And I was like, mm, maybe I should wait until we get after yeah, you have the weekend at least to test it. And... Yeah. So that all was... right, so you have not done it then I have by not. this point. Okay. I have not. But you love I've... these things. They're like this these yeah. little, it's like a chick uh, or like a uh, stick like a of gum. Snickers bar. Yeah. Like, yeah. And it holds 500 gigs, to terabyte, whatever you want to pay up to two terabytes, I think is the biggest one I've seen. Mm. So, yeah. Well, that's good stuff. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. I'm curious to see if it will actually make this machine noticeably faster than a traditional right. solid state It'll be that's what you had before it was like a pci yeah, a, whatever you call this just a it looks like a little thin hard drive but it's yep. solid state yeah and uh, it's an old it, one so it's it probably is I, I bet it is gonna be noticeably faster actually yeah we'll uh we'll find out i mean there's only one way to find out right mm -hmm. so what else was going on there was a couple other things i thought that were rolling out Bunch of new chips with 5G stuff coming out, but that's... Yep. Yeah, Huawei and uh, Qualcomm, I think, as we speak, might be presenting at IFA as well. So we'll see what's going on there. Um, 
you know, lots of new computers. Dell, Lenovo mm. have all kind of come up with their stuff. Um, not a lot of 8CX stuff, though. And not anything I can think of. Has there been one that you know of? Uh, I, well, Samsung announced one, but I thought that was earlier in the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's the yeah. only one that I've seen like come across the feed, so... I got an email, by the way. You might have gotten this as well um, at, because I'm in the Insider program. And it's mm -hmm. like, hey, guys, I can't really tell you what we're doing, but we're looking for people that can be in the New York area in October and want to participate in something. Oh, yeah. And pretty yeah, pretty clearly it's that event, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I think they did this last year, right, where yep, they had the they Insiders? Did. Yeah. So I guess this is gonna this is their attempt to be like an Apple press conference where people clap when they announce stuff. Mm. So they're looking for the most enthusiastic Insiders. Um, so if you are in the New York area or could be on October 2nd, is it? Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, look look in your email because they're looking for people. Looking for bodies. Yep. Looking for the bodies. So fun. Fun, fun. So what else? What else? There the other, other thing is Yep. Go I on. have, so I got the Note 10 Plus, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I did switch over completely. So it's on Project Fi. I got my two... Um, testing the this is the samsung one um yeah, it's basically a color screen fitbit from what i can tell it works with samsung health which i'm not necessarily super interested in um but seems to work okay um <laughs> right now it's going off no matter what happens so like 30 minutes before this podcast it reminded me that i had a podcast mm -hmm. that was cute um but i also even though i don't have a case i've decided to go for it and um i went out in the world with the phone today wow, and i will take great. it out tonight and uh unfortunately it's probably i don't know what it's like where you live but today here it is cloudy and kind of gray mm. uh, but i will say from a camera perspective it's it's good i like the way the, the zoom works i like the the three presets Mm -hmm. uh, that they have for zoom and regular and wide on screen, which is really nice. Um, I, I, on the positive news development, like I, I, the very first picture I took, it was just, you know, with the road trees, cloudy sky, it was going to mm -hmm. be kind of washed out. There was nothing I could do about it. So I kind of focused on the sky just to get the most contrast. Cause it's like the lightest part of the scene. And as I did that on the screen, I could see the definition of the clouds appear. And I kind of looked up at the sky, and I could kind of barely see it in real life. But when I looked on the picture, you could really see it. And I was like, nice. <laughs> like, I actually kind of said something out loud, which is yeah. to my, I'm by myself, you know, like an idiot. But I, I but it was, you know, but it was like a legitimately interesting, mm. it was, it was good. Like, I, I thought it was like a high quality thing that it had done. So, like, literally the first picture I took with this thing, I was like, nice. <laughs> you know, it's, even though, like, it was just kind of yeah. crappy out, but. So we'll see how it goes, but neat. So I don't know. I think that really wraps about wraps it up, right? If you're on Game Pass, you can go play Gears Five. That's yeah, kinda... and I'll play more of it over the weekend. I do. I I'm gonna. It will be a struggle, honestly, but I'm gonna try to get through the single player campaign just but to kind of do it. The sacrifices you make for us, Paul, we appreciate it. I don't know who I'm doing it for, honestly, <laughs> because like, well, who cares what my opinion of this game is? Like, you're either gonna buy it or you're not. Oh, yeah. I will say that as a tip, and this I. Should have written this up explicitly as a tip. It's dumb that I didn't. But here's the deal. If you have never signed up for Game Pass of any kind, sign up mm. right now. It's $2 through the end of September. You will get this game as part of it. You can play it for the next 20 whatever days. Mm -hmm. Absolutely enough time uh, to finish it if you want to play the single player campaign or yep. get a bunch of multiplayer. And then you can decide after that. But um like whatever you think of this game, I don't. I don't think many people should spend sixty bucks or whatever it is to buy mm -hmm. the game, but getting it as part of um, Game Pass is a great deal. Yeah, um, it really. So is. You, of any kind, like you could console, PC, or Ultimate, you can make you can make a choice. Um, it's definitely something to consider. The other thing to consider as well is if you are willing to do the Game Pass Ultimate rollover. Um, it, they're still doing the up to thirty six months of Xbox Live Gold turn into game. It turned yes, into right. ultimate. Yeah. In other words, if you have an Xbox Live Gold subscription mm -hmm. and you switch it over to Ultimate, which is I haven't seen any deals on it yet, so it's like it's basically fifteen dollars a month. Um, yep. I, I have I have signed up for it, so I, I'm in like a. In fact, I just got my renewal thing. Um, I'm doing it like three months at a time, so it's forty five mm -hmm. bucks, which is you know kind of expensive, but yeah, but but like Brad said, if you have um, you know, some months left on your gold subscription. I, I think what are they? Uh, it's are they doubling it or how are they doing it? No, um, it's if you have. So what you need to, to do one? is if you have gold right now, 
go yeah. max it out. Like go on Amazon. You can mm-hmm. buy them. They're 60 bucks a piece for a year. So you can spend, right. let's say you have eight months left. You can go buy two years for 120 bucks and then oh, you will get it. two years and eight months of ultimate for yeah, so let's put that months. in perspective. So $60 for one year of Xbox Live Gold, right? Mm-hmm. If you have one year left in your account, that is worth $180 yeah. of Xbox Live. Uh, I'm sorry, of Xbox, geez, Game Ultimate. Pass Ultimate. Yep. Sorry, so many, too many subscription services here. Um, yeah, this is like a no-brainer. Because by the way, even if you never play another mm-hmm. game, you still are getting, you're not losing anything. Like right. you get, you still are in Xbox Live Gold. So... It, it's a hundred dollar, hundred eighty dollars worth of stuff for free. Yeah, it, and basically, if you think about it, like if you're going to play Gears, um, mm-hmm. more than likely, if you're a heavy gamer, you're more than likely going to want to play the next Halo. Um, yeah. and yep. then all you need to do is find one more game over the next two but years, two, two, three years. The chances of you not finding something good in the service are impossible. Yeah. Like there's all you know, hundred uh, over hundred games. Yeah, and you'll come out way ahead, way ahead. So yep, there yeah, you it's go. a no brainer. No That's brand. the top tip of the day, folks. You got anything else for us, Mr. Paul, before we uh, play more Gears or whatever it is we're going to do? Yeah, that's right, right. I wish I could say my day's ending now, but I forgot to post to ask Paul yesterday like an mm. idiot, and so I will. I did early today, so I'll have to do that this afternoon if I can. Um, so my day is not over, but I, I'll do that at some point. That's fantastic. Fantastic. So... All right, folks. Well, that uh, that wraps it up for today. We'll catch all of you right back here on Monday. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend.